Hello everyone and welcome to another Zero tutorial. My name is Samuel Burmeister. I'm the owner here at Tall Books. Today I'm going to talk about files in Zero, managing them through the files inbox and um, how this can help you make your business go paperless. So it's very topical at the moment, um, environmentally friendly, but also just easier to manage your documents digitally. So get on board with this and let's get started. So Zero has a files inbox. In the top right hand corner, you'll see here a file folder. If you click on that, this is where you generally store all of the documents that come into Zero before they're sorted. So within the inbox, I've uploaded a couple of PDFs here just with dummy invoices as an example. To get the files into Zero, you can simply click upload files and select. You can take a photo with your webcam, or my favorite is sending files to your unique Zero email address. So each file, like this demo file we've got here, has a Zero email address available. So you can see here, it's a long jumble of letters at zerofiles.com. Simply copy and paste this into the to field of your email and then send the email off with the attachment. So the way you do that generally is a supplier sends you an invoice like this trendy PDF I've got here. I then click forward on my email client and type X, which will bring up this email address. If you haven't emailed it before, just copy and paste it in so it can save it. Then simply delete out the message. So just highlight the whole message and delete it, leaving nothing but the attachment of the invoice or picture you want to send in and send. Within a couple of seconds, generally it's quite fast. You'll see it appear here like this PDF. And if you click on that, you can see it'll open up a picture of the PDF for you. So basically simple as emailing it through to this address, delete out the message, and it will upload it for you into the files inbox. On the left-hand side here of the files inbox, I've created a few folders. It's quite common that you need to store a few things um, just for reference, especially with payroll, it's handy to upload maybe contracts or send things like that. You can keep them in Dropbox or Google Drive, of course, but it's also handy to have them available in Xero. So, if I click on one of these uploads, I can move it directly into, say, my invoices folder, etc., and it will sit there for me. Now, the most common use of the files inbox is, of course, attaching a picture or a PDF to a bill or an invoice, and that way you have a record of it. The same thing goes for receipts. A lot of people will take a photo with the Zero app and upload a receipt or email in their invoices or upload them here, you attach that receipt directly to a spend money transaction or an expense claim. So let's try that. So if I click on this PDF here, we're going to add it to new. So you can click add to new here, or you can click on the settings cog on the right hand side here. So let's add this as a new bill. Now, this is a dummy invoice, but just for the sake of the exercise, you can see what I mean. You'll have it appear on the left-hand side as a little pop-out, which is really handy because you can view the information there, zooming in, um, and you can also highlight different information. So I'm just want to zoom for me. And basically what that will do is allow you to copy and paste information directly into Xero and have it there for you. So we've got trendy accounts, punch in the dates, and you can just copy and paste things. So I might just put the invoice number in there, I've copied off, the amount, etc. And you'll always have it stored there. So this little picture here shows I've got one document attached. You can attach multiple if you'd like to one bill, invoice, spend money, etc. So when you click on that, it will open up the related files that you've attached, showing the one we've got here. If you want to remove a file, you can click on that number there and click the X. This will give you an option to either remove the file completely 
or send it back to the file library so you can start over. So that's how simple it is to attach a document. Another way you can do that is attaching it to an existing transaction. So here, let's have a look at a bill that's awaiting payment. So I'm under the bills section. I go into my bills awaiting payment and we'll select this one here, for example. You'll see up in the top right hand corner again, the little document picture. If I click on that, I can add a file from the file library or upload a file directly to attach to this transaction. So I'll upload the trendy document and it will attach there. So now I've got one showing and the document is attached for my reference. So really handy for record keeping. I recommend attaching your receipts and invoices so you can look back and get GST data as well. And this really comes in handy if you're working with other people in the business who process your accounts payable and accounts receivable, you can be emailing things into the inbox for them to then go and process without even needing to see each other or see a paper document. Also handy if you're working with your accountant or bookkeeper, they need to see some information. You can email it straight into the file for them or simply attach it to the transaction so they have all the data they require. And there you have it. That's the files inbox in Zero. Feel free to post any questions you have below. Hope that helps.